the best way to save your money is just to remain indoor that was me feeling myself before i went out to spend more than twenty five thousand in a day like and i'll just show you guys all around you know we, we have good roots here <laughs> my mom said she wanted to take swallow so we had to go to that yakuyu yakuyu is actually a very nice place but unfortunately they did not have the pandemic my mom wanted to take so we just took what they had and i spent like 4k there we came here to cold stone cold stone and domino pizza are not actually my best i prefer so many other ice creams and so many other pizzas but this was the best pizza i've ever had in domino's pizza and that's on that's on it that's on period i don't know why that tasted nice or whatnot but yeah so we came here to shop for some things for shawarma and then we got that i saw some pasta i remember that i saw um a recipe on youtube but guys i don't like to cook anymore so like just a small thing here i paid more than 5k and you know as a senior sister now elder sister i cannot be carrying load when my sister younger ones are working <laughs> so i had to give it to them my mom sent me back to check for some oil and i went back and this is me still showing off our road some people cannot even talk about their roads like because it's just be jam-packed i'm not calling any names so but they know themselves this is the 44 army barrack there's also the 44 hospital in it and it's such a it's such a beautiful building this is our government house and it's so beautiful some people don't even have green grass in their states it's just filled with cement cement everywhere they just like to build 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 there's no even ventilation in their states but anyways we have space here we have greeneries we have fine places and that was how i went in that domino's place and the ice cream i spent more than fifteen thousand or so and that was how i went to spoil my money spend my money and we are back home that was it for this day we had to do the shower so guys i just finished taking my bits and i've cleaned my whole body but i've not done my face care so guys i decided to come here and Talk about what is none of my business that is this whole abortion law in us and all i'm hearing people against it people are for it well i'm not even in the us that's none of my business but <clears throat> just for the sake of humanity i really want to understand what people what people mean by pro-life and i want to understand when people are talking about respect a woman's body because i don't understand that th those two things so just for context the pro-life believe that every life matters and there should be abortion only if it's going to affect the child or the woman that is taking the pregnancy so yeah just for you to get the context before i keep ranting and ranting <laughs> the pro-life said that um the only abortion is only three percent of their of their whole um body control like birth control whatever but immediately they announced this whole new law they are closing down they are closing down their uh, workplace they are you know that means that abortion is what they are really doing in that family planning stuff they say they are doing because if abortion is only three percent why will you close down because um they they pass a law against abortion that's their own and the people saying that you should respect a woman's body she should have she should take decision by herself she should um just people are just talking 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 and i really don't understand it because these children do not say that you should come and give birth to them if you really really do not want to give birth to the kids then don't even get the pregnant the, I, I'm even saying the wrong English. Don't get pregnant. Don't get pregnant and then abort it. No. If you don't want kids, prevent yourself from having the pregnancy. Do you get? Okay, there's always mistake and other things which I understand. But I think the science has gone so ahead that nowadays you get pregnant only if you want to get pregnant. Or oh, okay, for me that believes in God so much. Maybe God said this child has to come through you and then you have to get pregnant, you get? But honestly, yes, we should have control over our body, but you are killing a life. Like even if even if it's just a, a, a fetus or is it a fetus, they call it, whatever, it is still a life. 
if this pregnancy now becomes um miscarried fine but you going to the hospital or you going to buy abortion pill see i am strongly against it it might happen yes it's used to happen but it shouldn't see if if you get to about one two three four are you not going mad don't you think you're going mad you're aborting two three pregnancies that is all, all you already i don't think you have this mental you're not you're no more in, in a good mental space that is just it take it or leave it you've killed people not even one you've killed people if they give you a knife it's it's it might be easier for you to kill somebody than for somebody that has never done any of this before i'm just saying all this are just my opinion and this is what i've been thinking of since i've been hearing this abortion abortion law people have been against it. people are um protesting people are doing so many things and um the only thing i think that was not really let me continue my skincare the only thing that I think was not properly put into consideration is the fact that if people have ectopic pregnancy, people have um, other kind of problems that requires you to just, you know, have abortion, it is not properly stated in the law that they should carry on. I read some article where a lady... A woman almost died because she had an ectopic pregnancy and needed to be evacuated immediately. Like the pregnancy needed to be aborted immediately. But because of this law that just got in place, they had to go through a lawyer. And the lawyer was, it was right because the lawyer was saying things like, it was not specifically the, uh, said in the law for that state that they should carry on with the pregnancy, with the abortion and it took a while. The nurse that said this thing was said the patient almost died because by the time they were going to do this abortion, the baby had already squashed and then there was already a lot of blood and the lady almost died in conclusion. And um, that is very sad. Very, very sad. But anyways, that is it about that. And it's just so sad. It's just super, super, super sad that we are in a situation where people think that because um, a bad thing was put in place, somebody that has sense should not come and make you not be in place anymore. Because they're really fighting about this. And the funny thing is, when Nigerians on Twitter, very funny set of people, let me tell you something then, we are not, we are not as, you're not as advanced as these people, no matter how you want to say it. Even though you think in that direction, you shouldn't even come to Twitter and start saying things like that. I just think that it's so, it's so funny. Some of these influencers came and I was like, what do you think about this? I think people should have control. I'm not saying people should not have control over their body or anything. Um, I'm really not against abortion and I pray that I'm, I I do not find myself in a situation where I have to abort. But if you find yourself in a critical state, it's fine. But not like you went to have an unprotected sex. Which you know can lead to pregnancy and then you now got pregnant and then you want to abort i just think that is so absurd you are not even fit to be called a parent i'm so sorry but anyways i'm almost done with my skincare i'm already done my skincare my vitamin c serum is not with me it's in my mom's room but can you guys see that glow like i have been glowing <laughs> i've been glowing guys and i just want to do my edges and yeah i'll see you guys so i got this arabian perfume and i really love I, I love 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 just got the packaging it's so nice and it's so cheap bought it for one five i think one seven it's one seven not one five and yeah i'm going on the mommy duty right now <laughs> i'm going on the mommy duty my younger brother wants to change school and wants to go ask for um the price of the new school he wants just want to go and collect their is it teller they call it yeah 
think I look cute. So as I already said, guys, I'm going to be doing less makeup and um, plenty skincare this year. Though, so if I have any events to go to, I'll surely do makeup. There's going to bang my enemies. All of them, I see that I look better without makeup. I'll still do the makeup. You know who I'm talking about. You know yourself. <laughs> so, guys, um, let me go my mommy duty. I'm feeling myself with this mommy vibe. When I don't know what to wear, I like to wear um, jalabia. When I'm so confused on what to wear, I just carry on my one of my plenty, plenty of buyers. <laughs> I don't have plenty. <laughs> I just carry them on and um, yeah, oh, I don't have any outfits to do each each outfit for this big salad. But anyways, we're going to manage to it. I still have one cloth to sew. Even I sew that one, I will get other ones and just do an outfit, eat outfit kind of vibe video. Guys, I'll see you guys when I get to the school. I've gone so guys I've gone to the school and <laughs> I don't blame people that don't want to have children what this is much I don't think my primary one to five plus just one to three I don't think I paid up to this I don't know my brand I paid for I don't think so this is plenty anyways that's him and his mother's thing to solve out. <laughs> Guys, I need to go to the market now. I have some clothes I want to go and weave. And my mom sent me to repair something for her. So, guys, I might not be able to vlog in the market, but I'll see you guys when I come back. When I get to the weaving shop, I should be able to vlog there. So, yeah. I love this color of nails of my nails. It just looks so natural. Nobody will even notice I'm wearing something there. And I love that. I don't like attention. <laughs> See you guys when I come back. I told you guys that I've been using hand cream and I've been loving it. This one is from Long Reach. And I just so love it. I love what it does to my hand. My hands don't need it. I just bought it because I want to start doing all this feminine, feminine stuff. <laughs> okay, guys. See you guys when I come back. Can you guys see that? Hmm. So, guys, I just came back from the market. And I bought... This is my face cream. This virony, guys. I don't know why it became so... um cars but anyways i got me that i just say i have to get this and then i bought this the vitamin c so i bought this actually for me, me and my mom my mom and i to try it and since i like it i went to get mine so that one is going to be her own now so that's the, that's the thing i bought and i took my clothes for weaving and i couldn't wait to collect it so i'll collect it tomorrow <laughs> 